In this video, we're going to show you how you can cut with your machine if it's on the same network as your computer. Before we can start using the software, we want to make sure that your cutting machine is on the same network as your computer. We can set this up by touching the gear icon on your cutting machine. You'll want to touch the Wi-Fi button next. You'll need to know the network name and password so that your machine can join. First, we must scan the network and select the network to join. Next is the password. Touch the Set button. Here you'll be prompted to type in the password. In our example, our password is password1234. Each key has a multiple letter on it. Tap the number of times it takes for you to reach that letter that you would want. Once you have the password typed in, you can push the OK button. When it comes to the IP address, depending upon if you're setting up multiple machines, you'll want to ensure that each cutter has their own ending number. For example, 200, 201, and so on. Once everything looks good, we can go ahead and hit the Apply and wait for it to join our network. On the home screen, you'll notice a yellow banner with an IP address that is assigned to your cutter. We're gonna use that number in the software in order to communicate with it. If this is your first time using SureCuts a lot, you're gonna to need to go to the Cutter menu, select My Cutter, and then Manage Cutters. From the company slash brand drop-down menu, you're going to select Sky Cut and then click on the Add to the List. Finally, you can click the Done. You can tell that you're ready to start the communication process in SureCut's lot by noting that you see the Sky Cut in the four corners. Now you can click on the Cut icon on the toolbar to open up the Cut Settings window. Under the model, it should say SkyCut, and under the connection, it should say TCP slash IP. And then next to the IP, go ahead and type in the IP address that appeared on your cutter. Next, click the Refresh Connection icon, followed by the Test Connection. A window will open informing you that the test will cause the blade carriage to do a short jog to indicate that the connection is made. If it fails, check your IP address again and make sure that it matches what appears on the control panel on your cutter. If the jog occurs, then at this point you are now ready to begin cutting with SureCuts-A-Lot to your cutter. 